The food in prison, at least the prisons I was at when I was locked up, was not enough to sustain you. Every time I went back to the hole, I would lose a few pounds every week because I could only eat those trays and I didn't have any access to commissary. So the question is, that guy on the weight pile, the guy pushing 400 pounds, the guy who's bigger than everybody else, how does he get and maintain that size when these are the trays they serve? And there are two different ways. The first is that he has money. He's got family support or he's got a really good hustler. He's got somebody who holds him down. And I think of a guy named L that I used to work out with. He got $200 a month from the street and he bought the same thing every time he went to the store because he wanted to max out on all the protein items. And every now and then his money wouldn't hit and whenever that happened, he would just stop working out because he would say, if I keep lifting without access to that protein and those calories, I'm just gonna waste away. The other way that guys got big and sometimes got diabetes is they would sit in the chow hall or they would sit at the tray slot and they would ask for everybody's potatoes and everybody's bread and they would just eat as much as they possibly could. And this didn't add any protein to their diet, which was a serious problem, but it added a whole lot of starch and a whole lot of calories. So these guys were strong, but often fat.